back in the States. Guys, I'm looking small and soft. I know, stop hating on me. Stop leaving mean comments about it. I've trained maybe three days. Um, that pec messed me up. Been trying to do too much. The triathlon training plus the weightlifting, not eating right, the traveling. It's rough, all right? You guys have all been here. You know how it is. So today, I haven't been back for even 24 hours yet. Uh, been to the grocery store. Babe and I went last night. Now it's about getting back on it. This is all about how you get over jet lag. First thing you gotta do, drink a ton of water. The goal will be to drink six of these today. Now, I know what you're saying, Steve. Why not just get a jug? I don't drink a jug if it's just a jug. I like having smaller things um, that I just refill. So six of these today. I'm on number two right now. Life water for the win. It's better like pH, pH of your water. You know what, Courtney's all about that pH. Why, babe, why do you like pH in your water? pH balance? Yeah. It's for alkalinity. Alkalinity, is that a word, babe? <laughs> yes. All right, there we go. Um, also gonna get scraping done. Get a massage, trying to flush out just as much crap from the traveling, get scraped, get massaged. Um, Workout, light workout, we're gonna do back today. Back and biceps. And then gonna do some conditioning tonight. Woke up at 5.30, been super productive. That's always a good thing. So I'm at AZ Pro today here. Let's get cracking. If you're a beginner in the gym, one exercise that you must learn to master correctly, chin-ups. Pull-ups, chin-ups behind the back, in front, wide, narrow. You need to master it. So today, we're starting out with 50 pull-ups, chin-ups, behind the neck, however you wanna do them. Gotta get 50. Touch your chest on each rep, so coming all the way up, or touch your neck. If you can get more than 10 on any given rep, or any given set, add weight, if you can. Second exercise, so we did the wide grip pull-ups, making sure, hit your chest. If you can't get them, do them assisted, have a partner help you, hit your chest or hit your back. Full range of motion is a must on those. Most people do chin-ups totally wrong. Um, next up, we're doing a little bit of a modified deadlift. Traveling, the back's a little bit tight. Um, so we're gonna go here with more of a machine. Plate loaded deadlift today. Doing that um, this week, next week will be normal. I'll do sumo deadlift next week. So, four sets, six to 10 reps on this here. Making sure it's all about proper, proper form. Butt, hips, everything comes up at the same time. We're not, you know, we're not coming up with the butt and then the upper body, all at the same time.
Let's see it. Oh, he got you. I know. When you like did my, you can't really see here. You can still see it a little bit. A little bit. My neck. My pain neck one, one of ten. Oh, this babe hurt so bad. That was what like was the pain? a nine because it was like shooting into my head. Uh oh. I know. All right, I'm gonna go get this done. Are you gonna work out? I'm gonna try. Good luck. Back workout done. Time to go in to torture chamber. What's up? This is torture chamber. You guys have you guys have been watching me for a while. You guys have seen the inside of this office. This this is where my man Steve puts people through the ringer. And I have a feeling that this is gonna hurt today. The other day, I actually was benching and trying to prove some people on YouTube that I could still hit 315 uh, for rip. So I'd done bench the day before and I was doing slow press. So anyway, anyhow, long story short, 315 on the ninth one, I felt the whole pec like go. It wasn't just like a stretch. It was like, almost like my pec was gonna tear. Yeah. Um, so I, I racked and it was done, but I couldn't raise my arm like here. I felt it in here back biceps anything I tried doing for the most part hurt it so I have Definitely something going on there. I don't know if it's like a partial partial tear or what, whatever it is. We can check it out yeah. Um, But yeah, like I said never never respond to YouTube trolls My pec hurt mm -hmm. But it was never like this whole I felt like my whole pec kind of shifted for a second it was and then moved back but it was like i think probably maybe hit that with the machine and get try to get see what i'm talking about there that's all that's all pec minor oh. i could probably loosen it up a little bit better it's still going to be painful but especially on the chest it's gonna you're not gonna be happy <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't expecting it were you <laughs> It's rolling. It's oh, recording. Hey. So flip the screen back. Do you want a cough drop? No, it's okay, Steve. Thank you. you. Yeah, too. Not like crazy. Yeah. What am I doing? So, yeah, you can, you can watch it. Here you could have a Werther's. Werther's oh. original? Yeah. Tell me that doesn't Come remind on, you man. of Come on, man. Have a uh -huh. Werther's. Oh, that's the tool. The bullhorn. Have you not seen the him bullhorn? Since it's ready. I'm getting nervous. Forever? Like my dad when I was a little kid, when he'd raise his hand, I knew I was getting spanked. <laughs> it invokes the same terror. Oh, babe. This is why. Oh, my gosh. This is how Stevie does it. This is how we roll. There's no rolling, it's just straight scraping. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't correct me, man. I can make your life easier. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, he's already going to get super beat up here. Mama. I see it. Where do you hurt, babe? Where? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right where he's scraping. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. So you're saying if we didn't have trauma here, that would not happen? No, not trauma. If, if you didn't have an issue there, gotcha. then you wouldn't, but yeah. It's like one of those things, it's like, why would he do that to himself? Well, actually, I'm not doing it to myself, but why would he subject himself to that? Uh, I'm blaming this on you guys for making me Pinch press that. Nah, I can't do that. I can't ever blame any other people for your problems. Oh, I kind of like... reminded me of that character from The Simpsons. That, oh, the pain in the brain. <laughs> My parents didn't let me watch The Simpsons. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. I don't know what he's talking about right now. Which character was that? Is that the remember, crazy guy? I don't remember the... The guy's name. Goodness gracious. I feel like Wolverine right now. Except I'm not going to heal as fast. 
Okay, this one's gonna be a little dicey. For <laughs> this is gonna be dicey. I'm sorry. The rest is the yeah. rest is the rest uh. is cake. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here? Yeah, I'm gonna get under uh, this with the tool. It's yep. like I said, it's not gonna feel it good. Fills, so. It feels like radiates into your armpit. Yeah. Like that hurts even right there with that pressure. This is gonna be bad news. If I drop the camera, <laughs> it's landing right on my face. Gonna hold your breath. There you go. Yeah, I told you it was bad, didn't I? Yeah, you can hear it. It kind of sounds grisly. I'm gonna end up looking like that guy over there. That's how red I'm gonna be. Oh, the heat. It's actually making my body heat up. I'm sweating. So I was bench pressing, the, if you guys didn't watch the video, go back and watch it, or maybe I'll include a clip here. I was bench pressing um, a couple videos ago, and it was 290, and we were going down real slow, doing like five to six reps, I think six reps, but going down, really concentrating on the eccentric part of the, work, the lift, and people were commenting on there, oh, Steve, you did this during your prep, you did 315 for uh, 11 times on your prep, what's going on? So. I was like, the next day I was reading these comments, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go into the gym and show them that I, you know, I can do 315 for reps. Oh, I'll get your neck out. I can do 315 for reps, um, you know, for 11 reps still, I was just doing them slow. Ow! Um, and then on the ninth rep, I felt my whole pec kind of shift. Oh my gosh. Um, I felt my whole pec kind of shift. And uh, you know, I went to go do a tenth rep, and I was just like, "Now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm racking my weight." But again, didn't really warm up. Hit ch chest back to back days, and uh, it definitely caused me to, you know, that day I couldn't even hit triceps. I couldn't do really anything that at all touched that. So I couldn't do biceps. Couldn't do anything that really touched or, you know in this general region even some back movements because they involved biceps um my bicep brachialis was kind of involved in it so i don't recommend you guys ever responding to youtube trolls <laughs> if you're the only one that gets hurt now as much as you did with this right now you definitely put a huge strain if not um injured your rotator cuff at the same time so we will find a lot there i'm sure and the last time I did this, my back really lit up. Um, especially, I was all locked up in my right trap and neck, and uh, like my subscap and on the right side of my back. And I had tried just about everything I felt like, and this was really the only thing that gave me relief. It was like two days, you know, I, I went by after this, and I didn't notice, you know, I wasn't locked up anymore there. So I tried so many different massages and things like that sometimes. You gotta go through pain to get better. Just gotta go to your happy place. And what is that happy place right now? Where is it? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> it's been destroyed <laughs> by fire. The burning. <laughs> it's burning down. Uh, <sighs> Kelly Clarkson, that hurts. What'd you say? Have you ever seen the 40 year old virgin? When he's on the table and he's getting his chest wax and he yells, Kelly Clarkson! Oh, okay, that's what I was like going like, did he just say what I think he said? And he did. Oh. Body's so freaking tight. All that traveling. I love coming to expos, guys, but all that traveling around the world. 
it's taking a toll on the body. All right, that really, that hurt more than last time. Um, oh. Because we, just more acute injury here in terms of last time was just kind of overall. This one we really got into that and all of a sudden, uh, I'm feeling like I just got in a motorcycle <laughs> accident. <laughs> Road rash. Seriously. You guys, if you guys are in the Gilbert area and Steve has time to get you in, definitely get that done because. Steve is the man. He's over, he's not even looking at the camera. Just straight, uh -huh. straight torture. How, how's it looking, babe? You look like you just fell off of a bike and got. I right. promise, Courtney right didn't beat me. It. I just tripped. I just tripped. <laughs> <laughs> this the new toy? Oh shit, they fucked you up. Yeah, they did. That is awful. Dude, look at why this that, thing. Why is it only that side? Why? Because you yeah. only scraped this side. Why didn't you scrape the other one? Oh, because that's your bad back? Yeah. Which, I think it's the tendon. Dude, you guys look like you're working hard. Look at that thing. It's 98 degrees out here. I, I know I said I wanted the heat and wanted the sunshine. To condition in it, that might be a different story. How's it going? Oh, there's so much shade over here. What's that? There's so much shade over here. Oh, it's so nice. Look at her. She uh, she de deadlifts your max. She does. She deadlifts your max. They're freaking animals, these two. All right, well, we got scraped. I had Chick fil A. Now it's time to puke. Conditioning starts now. Hello, Gorilla. Good to be back. Good to be back. I hate these things in your garage right now. Those might be the two worst pieces of equipment I've ever used. Good though, man. Yeah. It's effective. Yo, what are we, what are we doing about easy, that man. arm? 20 minutes and it's fucking... Shit, I was all I could handle right now tonight. 20 minutes and you're good to go. That's all you need. What are we doing with that arm, that left arm? I'm about to get that thing. That's, that's got to happen like in the next, next month. Yeah, let's go. That dude right there. Is a guy I always want on my team. You gotta surround yourself with people that are gonna push you, with people that aren't gonna let you quit in life. Quitting is easy. Quitting is easy, but it haunts you. You gotta get to the point where you know if you give up early on something, you're not gonna be able to sleep, you're not gonna be able to eat, you're not gonna be able to function. Pain, pain, pain. That was pain. Pain. Reflex change. Anytime the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of wanting to change, that's that's when you'll make that decision that you want to change. When that pain of staying the same is is greater than that pain of changing.